Welcome to sunny northern New South Wales, where today we witness local utility Essential Energy installing one of our OSM series reclosers. Our OSM series reclosers are in service in over 85 countries worldwide today and are suitable for installation in a wide range of environments. The primary purpose of a Noja Power recloser is to provide reliability to the end customers and also to protect the overhead lines that you see around us today. Now before we install a Noja Power recloser, it is recommended that we check the installation section of the user manual and familiarise ourselves with the procedures. There's also a great installation video available on YouTube, just search Noja Power. For best installation safety practices, it's recommended that what work can be conducted on the ground is completed prior to lifting the recloser in the air. Using the correct personal protective equipment is imperative for safe installation of electrical equipment. Essential Energy follows industry best practice and its number one priority is the safety of its employees. Noja Power recommends that all accessories be fitted to the switch before it is lifted up a pole. In this instance, that's now been completed. We've had the surge arresters fitted. The HV tiles. And the VT. For this particular installation, Essential Energy are using a combined VT mounting bracket. And when we're using this type of installation, we have lifting points on the VT bracket and lifting points on the end of the switch. If we were using the VT bracket that sat on the opposite side of the pole, we would use the lifting points on both sides of the switch. We've also now attached the sling and we're ready for lifting. It's important to check that the sling is clear of the bushings so that when we lift the switch, we're not applying any pressure to the bushing. Noja Power recommends a 35 mm earth or greater, and all earthing points must be earth. All earthing points are marked, and we have an earth point on our VT and on the back end of our switch. Lightning strikes in power lines are common. They can generate large impulses which travel along the conductors. Surge arrestors should be fitted to both sides of the recloser to protect against impulses from either direction, whether the recloser is open or it's closed. Surge arrestors can be bolted directly to the tank, so the surge current is diverted to the ground through the tank. Surge arrestors can be terminated onto the palm or onto the tail of the recloser using a parallel groove clamp. Any termination you use should be torqued up to 30 Newton meters. Noja Power recommends that all high voltage connections are done using insulated HV cables and bird guards. This will protect the tank from short circuits caused by animals and will make it easier to keep acceptable clearances in the installation. Connection of the cables to the recloser terminals depend on the type of termination supplied with the recloser. The OSM recloser can be fitted with tunnel connectors, or NEMA two-hole palms. The palm connectors can be supplied with threaded or non-threaded holes. They are intended to be used with appropriate crimp lug connections. The prepared HV cable tails are cut to size at site and can be simply terminated onto the open disconnectors. Good earthing is absolutely essential for operator safety and to protect the recloser from damage. There are a few critical items that you'll need to take into consideration. Noja Power specifies at least a 35 mm square copper conductor for the earthing material. This should be spaced at least 200 mm from the control cable so there is no possibility of flashovers between the lines. In areas with a high risk of vandalism or theft, the conductor can be run inside the pole or through some external protection such as a metal pipe. Other materials such as aluminium or steel used for earthing are not acceptable for this equipment. Resistance to earth must be maintained within your local regulations for the installation of this type of equipment. The earthing conductor must be unbroken from the recloser to the earthing point at the base of the pole. Connect the control cubicle to the main earth using a line tap or a parallel groove clamp. At least 35 mm square copper conductor with the shortest possible distance should be used. 
The control cable was plugged into the tank and secured by lifting the latch until it clicks into place over the pins. Both sides must be over the pins or the cable will not be sealed against water entry. Fix the control cable to the pole using saddles at regular intervals. Slide the connector through the entry hole. Secure the vandal proof gland using four wing nuts. Connect the control cable to the SIM module. Position the key and lock the nut by turning it clockwise until it snaps into place. Position the cable inside the cubicle, cable tie to the bracket if required. The low voltage AC supply is used to keep the controller on. The low voltage AC supply is connected to the circuit breaker behind the lower escutcheon panel. The RC10 can accept either 110 or 220 volts AC. The voltage selection must be made with the circuit breaker in the off position if you are changing it. AC can be sourced from a dedicated voltage transformer like what you see here today, or alternatively from a low voltage line. Noja Power's supplied voltage transformers are fitted with a 2 ampere fuse and a secondary wiring. It prevents the overheating of the secondary side if a short circuit occurs in the wiring down to the RC10. All cables taken into the RC10 must be sealed and secured with glands to maintain the IP rating of the cubicle. It's best practice to confirm voltage and current is present and within the expected ranges once the bypass switch has been opened. The installation should be checked before final commissioning. Check that all the HV connections have been tightened and inspect the earth wiring and confirm it's been connected as specified in the user manual. Inspect the LV wiring is complete and connected safely. Check the LV supply is on. If possible, conduct some manual trip and close operations from the panel to confirm operation. If the feeder is energised, check that the voltage and current readings on the panel are correct. Connect to the RC10 with CMS software package and load settings as required. Conduct any other commissioning tests as specified by local regulations and requirements. On behalf of Glenn, myself and the team at Noja Power, we'd like to thank Essential Energy for taking the time today to work with us and display the installation of a Noja Power OSM recloser. We hope you enjoyed the installation video. As you can see, we've finished and it's still sunny. We look forward to working with you in the future. Thank you.